two, three, four. This is Danielle, and so today I'm going to be showing you something that has been highly requested. I'm showing you three super easy smoothies. Smoothies is something that I've been asked about almost as much as I've been asked about when it comes to my activewear. If you have not seen my activewear video, make sure to check that out. Uh, I got a lot of great comments and feedback on that, so if you are interested in that, I really highly recommend that you go check that out. Um, but for today, I'm doing three super simple smoothie recipes because that is something that I'm asked about all the time and I post on my Instagram about a lot. And that is actually a smoothie bowl, so if that's something that you're interested in, then just keep watching. So the first smoothie that I'm going to be making today is one that I've recently discovered. These are recipes that I've found online. These are things that I've just kind of made up on my own. So this first one I kind of call mango ice cream. If that's the flavor profile I feel like it tastes like. What you're going to be needing are frozen mangoes and frozen peaches. Finally, some oat milk. I am using Earth's Own oat milk and this one is the vanilla unsweetened vanilla flavor so whenever it comes to this recipe I really highly recommend getting unsweetened vanilla if you want sweetened that's totally cool but there's something about the vanilla I usually get unsweetened just plain oat milk but the vanilla really adds something to this smoothie so if you usually buy vanilla perfect if not no big deal but maybe add a little bit of vanilla extract in there to add that little bit of sweetness so I'm going to start off with putting my mangoes in here I'm gonna add my mango I usually fill the cup up about three quarters of the way with mango and then with the peaches I don't add too too many I like to just throw in a couple and these ones are pretty freezer burnt <laughs> so this is also kind of a great way to get rid of any freezer burnt fruit that you have so I'm just popping a few in there so if we were talking ratios it's about three-fourths mango, one-fourth peach. And then I'm taking my vanilla oat milk, shaking that up a bit. And then with this smoothie, you can keep it super thick if you'd like, and you can actually freeze it a little bit and make kind of like an ice cream out of it. Or you can just drink it like a smoothie. So this I'm filling about halfway in hopes that that will be enough liquid to um, make it nice and smooth. If not, you just add a little bit more. It's honestly trial and error when it comes to smoothies because I'm not someone who really believes in doing crazy measurements for this kind of thing. I want to be able to just shove it in a blender and have it work. <laughs> so I'm going to try my best to get this lid on here. And now <laughs> that we have all of our ingredients in here, I'm going to put this on my blender. It's already plugged in and I'll just click start. Okay, and that was 15 seconds on the blender. smells so good and even still it is super super thick Okay, and for our next smoothie, we are going to move on to the smoothie bowl because I know that is something that is really, really highly requested. So today I'm going to be using the purple smoothie mix from Irresistibles. It looks like that. And this mix I really like. It has wild berries, mango, pineapple, and acai. And so these I really like to gravitate to when it comes to doing a smoothie bowl because acai bowls obviously are very popular so having acai in here is really nice. So I'm going to put this in my blender and again just fill it to the top which so I have all this ready to go and now I'm just going to fill it with some water. There's a lot of small pieces in this mix so I'm only going to fill up about halfway with water and then blend it, see how it is, if it isn't um, thick enough then sometimes I'll try to add a little bit more fruit if I can. Um, and if it is thick enough, awesome. I'll just kind of alter my liquid as I go. So again, super, this is so easy guys. You literally buy a pack of mixed fruit, add some water, 
and you're golden. So I'm just going to blend this up. So it is having a little bit of trouble, so I'm just going to add a little splash of water, just a touch, to help it keep blending. But honestly, the texture is looking really good. Okay, so there's our smoothie, and you know it is thick enough whenever it doesn't touch the bottom. If you can hold it like this and there's still an air gap, then you know that it's thick enough. So I have my bowl here, and I'm going to take the lid off this. Oh my gosh, so good. Okay, so again, you can see how thick it is, but you can actually see where it's blending, or where it blended, sorry. So I'm now going to take my spoon and try to get it into my bowl as delicately as possible. Now with this movie, you can definitely add um, a dairy-free yogurt, um, or any type of like creamy element that you wish to keep that thick consistency that I honestly find I can get a really great consistency simply by using the fruit and water. That is the consistency of the smoothie bowl. It melts really fast. So now that you've seen what it looks like before we decorate, it does melt pretty quickly as you would have seen. It's already pretty liquidy at the base, um, but I do find that the middle stays pretty thick, though you can always add a dairy-free yogurt to keep that consistency nice and thick for a longer period of time. It all depends on how fast you eat them. I know myself, I eat them pretty quickly, so it doesn't really matter. I'm just taking out a small little cutting board, and you can honestly decorate them with whatever you want. I like to add things like pineapple and regular apples. Grapes are really beautiful whenever um, you don't have access to more tropical fruits. Um, so I'm just going to put a few pieces on here of pineapple. And you wanna to try to cut it into smaller pieces because it's a lot easier to eat that way. So I have my pineapple all put on there. I like to use chia seeds. These are the um, Prana Organic Proactive Chia Seeds. So they have probiotics and these are whole black chia seeds. These also are gluten-free, which is wonderful. So, okay, so now that I have my chia seeds. Now chia seeds, again, you have to be um, someone who eats this quite quickly because they do get a little gelatinous. And for some people that's a bit of a turn off when it comes to eating this bowl, but I like them. So I add them in there and they're considered a superfood. They are really high in magnesium. They have omega-3s, omega-6, fatty acids, which are wonderful for you. Now I have my bin of shredded coconut. I love adding coconut. Um, you can do sweetened or unsweetened, um, whatever your preference is. Right now I'm using sweetened just because that's all that we have. So I'm just going to do a little sprinkle and fill the one side. That is that. That is our beautiful smoothie bowl. It's so delicious and so cute. I will try my best to show you guys what this looks like. <laughs> That is our smoothie bowl, super delicious, and honestly, really fast. You can take as much time or as little time as you want with these, and they personally, whenever I was first kind of getting into trying to eat better, these were a great uh, option for me because it forced me to add more healthy things on top of my already healthy smoothie. So this is beautiful. I'm going to put this in the freezer and I'm going to eat this tomorrow because I already, I'm gonna have like three smoothies on the go here. So I'm gonna put this in the freezer and we can move on to our next one. So for our last smoothie, I am going to be doing a green juice. Now, or well, I guess just a green smoothie. It's not a juice by any means. This is something for those who are really into health and really like greens. So for this smoothie, I'm going to start off with, well, okay, 
typically I would start off with the Irresistibles brand green smoothies or Walmart also has a vegetable fruit mix that has spinach and greens in it. I do not have that at my disposal at the moment. So instead I'm going to be using a fruit mix that is of lighter colors. So you want more tropical fruits whenever you're doing a green juice, um, whenever you're doing a green smoothie because it will definitely help bring out that green color a lot more versus using um, darker fruits like berries then you end up with like a brown smoothie. I've made that mistake in the past <laughs> and honestly the tropical fruits just make it taste a lot better. So I have the summertime blend frozen fruit from Irresistibles here. This one has strawberries, pineapples, peaches, honeydew melon, and dark sweet cherries. So I'm going to open this up. I probably have one already opened, but I'm going to open this and try to mix it up and put this away. <laughs> try to get a couple strawberries in there. So we have that, which is fabulous. And then I have this Super Greens Organic Whole Food Formula. It has 50 organic superfoods in it. So it has things like kale and broccoli and um, spirulina and alfalfa and a bunch of good stuff. <laughs> so I'll do a half scoop of my green powder. And there are a bunch of different green powders on the market. I just picked this one because it was the cheapest. I'm now going to add a little water. So I like to fill the water all the way to the top for this one because whenever it comes to this green juice, I'm a little bit of a wimp. I find the green powder is something that I have to mentally get over because I'm basically a child when it comes to eating healthy. So I added my green powder and I usually try to make this as liquidy a smoothie as I can in comparison to other smoothies that I generally prefer to have thicker because that way I can drink it faster and I got all my nutrients in and I can feel good about myself. So I've done this. You can also add spinach in here if you wanted to to add a little more greens. Or if you want a little on the lighter side, then you can add cucumber and things like that in there. But I like to stick to my fruits because I am definitely a bit of a sugar addict. So here we go. Now we have this on here and I'm gonna give this a blitz. All right, now that that is all blended, I'm gonna grab my glass. So those were all the smoothies I had for you guys today. I really hope you liked them and I really hope that you try some of them out because they're awesome and everyone asks about them so if you're gonna ask, you might as well try it. Um, but yeah, so I really hope you guys like this video. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up, comment down below what you'd like to see next. And if you'd like me to do more smoothie videos, let me know because I have a couple different recipes that uh, I have yet to show you guys that I did not include in this video. Um, but yeah, if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. We are slowly growing. I've been doing this for like seven years, guys. And um, the pace that I'm growing is very slow. So if you feel like subscribing, please go for it. <laughs> also, don't forget to follow my social media accounts just down below. And I will see you guys very, very soon. Bye. <laughs> I also totally forgot to mention and meant to mention at like the top of the video because whenever I'm on the go, these are things that I've gotten really into right now. Um, the Avive smoothies. I have a bunch of these. They are a delivery service. They're Canadian. They're vegan, um, organic. They have so many different flavors. I really like this blue one just because it's blue. Like that's literally the only reason why I like it. But they come in these little triangles and you just use half of the circle and you end up with this really delicious smoothie. Um, and yeah, so if you wanted to try those out, if you're not really into buying all the ingredients to make what I told you to make, <laughs> then you can try those. Um, I promised it's not sponsored. Why would it be sponsored? Like four people are gonna watch this. But anyway, yeah, super good for those who care. <laughs> Bye.